Well, welcome back to a new video guys and if you do enjoy them, do take time to give them a thumbs up, perhaps give them a share and drop a comment because I like to try to anyway, <laughs> reply to any queries and comments and I do enjoy reading them. It really gives me as much satisf sat satisfaction <laughs> gives me as much satisfaction to read them as it does to just create and edit and make the videos for you guys. Anyway, so I'm heading out for a short trip today. I haven't been very well. I've got a swollen lymph node. I've um, been feeling really like a pile of doo-doo. But I'm um, going to be heading out this afternoon with the Darrant Valley. Some worms, some maggots. And um, maybe fish one or only just two swims. And um, see if I can get amongst a decent perch or two. That's the plan. Whether it works out that way is another matter, of course. You guys know. I mean, you're dealing with a wild entity and whether the fish are in the swim and whether the fish are willing to feed are um, two different things and two separate things that um, puts the ball very firmly in um, their court and whether they want to return the ball to you is another thing altogether. But yeah, that's the sum of it, as I say. Darrant Valley, specialist, eight foot quiver tip rod, some worms, some maggots. I have got a little bit of bread just in case I want to go after some chub, but I'm going to be sticking to probably worms with a light feed of maggots might air inject the worm as well um, just to give it a lift off the bottom as I say I'm going to fish a couple of swims maybe three at the most not a long trip it's, it's gone one o'clock now it's coming up to like one twenty. so I'm going to fish till like 6 or 7 p.m. maximum anyway let's crack on let's get the little Darren and little reel in the car and um, head off shall we So what I'm doing now, no I'm not, I'm not shooting up. The fishing's never that bad that you need a good bit of crack. <laughs> I'm air injecting the worm just so it pops up a bit. Small hypodermic syringe. Be careful with these. If you're not sure, don't use it. If you are sure, be, be, be very, you know, conscientious of injecting. Put something behind the worm and then inject. Do not accidentally slip and inject yourself with air. It's a one-way ticket and you're not coming back from it. So, I'm going to try and not do that. As I say, it's got two safety caps on it. I'm going to inject the worm, just pop it up and fish it on a short hook link. All done. Now what you can do, a friend of mine does, who does a lot of fishing with air injecting his worms, is, and that is, you can always bring a bucket of water with you or a little tub to test how the worm pops up. Now I have, like Blue Peter style, been testing this in the kitchen sink at home, so I know how much to air to inject. I'm gonna fish it on a four to five inch hook link maximum, let it pop up off the bottom. As I say, might only fish two swims, might only just fish this swim, it is a very kind of short trip as I haven't been feeling too well. Not going too far out.
Move swims, that wind is actually nagging. It's moved it a little bit upstream, just dropping into a few slacks. Going against what I said, I said I fish just one swim, but when you get itchy feet like I do, I do like to try a few swims. It's a chilly wind though, I know that. Hands are going a little bit lobstery.
hike. Well, when you're perch fishing, you get a good bite and you think you've hooked a quality perch. A little Mr. Dapple Cucumber Pike turns up. <laughs> oh dear, I put up a right little scrap too. Let's get it out of the swim, put it back somewhere else and carry on for a bit in this spot before moving. <laughs>
really nice chub, guys. Not the perch we were after, but it's a nice chub, a really nice chub. Good fish. Hard to spot the bites in these conditions. Especially when you're on your light tip. I'll tell you what, this is a really nice chub. Really nice chubbing. That's a nice fish. That's a bloody lump, is what that is guys. That is a lump. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when it's been tough, it's been tricky. I said I was only going to fish one swim. I started in this swim, and then left it. I, cause last time I was down, I had a few good knocks, and I lost a, uh, lost a fish. So I come down this time, started in this swim, ended up roving up, ended up on one of the um, other side streams and then said to myself you know you had bites last time just as light was fading get back to this spot and yeah whilst not a perch heck <laughs> it's a good chub it's a good darn good chub oh wow what a, oh it's, it's an absolutely built like a brick brick shit house that's what it's built like. Oh, ah, that's my knee hurting. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang. <laughs> oh, oh, seven pound five of Kenneth Chevin Warrior Tank Brick S House. <laughs> wow, wow. Let's draw myself back. Look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. Wow. Ah, come on. I know I was after perch first and foremost, but I did bring some bread with me, some cheese. I've been baiting the swim up with a good healthy supply of maggots. Look at the build. <laughs> so, such a cracking fight. Look at that. What a beauty. Seven pound five. Wow. Wow absolutely thrilled you know i broke my kenick venue best with chevin this season i didn't think i was going to do it again before the end it's an, it's an absolute tank let's get it slipped back shall we though wow how can you not be in awe of such a species wonderful oh absolutely fa what a lump i have one last look for reference that is a um if I remember correctly, it's a 22, 22 or 24 inch net. That's a beaut. Off you go, you tanky, 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 tanky. And tanky you very much. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wind's getting up a bit here. It's been blowing a bit of a um, choppy one today. And it's starting to get up more. So I do think we are um, going to get another storm or a partial stall but yeah interesting trip now admittedly guys i was after perch but anyone who knows me knows that i always take worms cheese paste bread maggots and i'm quite happy to jack of all trades the situation but today i stuck with worms and maggots um started in this spot which is the spot you saw me starting and moseyed along a bit along the river went along one of the side streams had a cucumber pike <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, where's the perch? Um, then moved back into this spot because on my last trip in this swim, in the evening time, it started to come on. There was actually perch chasing and there was um, a uh, decent perch that I lost. Excuse me, the wind's taking my concentration here. Um, there was a perch that I lost, uh, but I also felt there would be some decent chub in the swim. But that isn't why I came back this evening. I came back this evening, as I say, because I had a perch that I lost. But um, yeah, no perch bites, but I was fishing, as you've seen throughout the video, I've been using air injected lobworms. So it gives it a nice neutral buoyancy. Um, and yeah, it's been very hard to detect bites, but coming back to this spot, I fed in a steady stream of maggots. 
bear in mind, as I said earlier, we were after perch, but absolute cracking bite on an actual area of river where the wind's cutting across on the little Darren Valley eight footer. Um, but yeah, cracking bite, cracking scrap, and what what a chub, what a chub, what a what a corker, a corker. Seven pound five. I didn't think I was going to break my Kennet best again this season on another section of the river. I tell you what. I had trouble getting that in the net, and for reference, that net's 22 to 24 inches in diameter. Wow, such a nice fish, and what a scrap. Scrap like a barbel. Very hard fighting. Real breeze block, beautiful chainmail flank. I'm absolutely buzzing, guys, you know, even though I was after perch. You know, I don't think anyone's gonna take, gonna sniff at such a wonderful fish like that, are they? Ah, oh, brilliant. And that's why, that's why winter time, and, and uh, also, late autumn and even autumn time I'll come out with a variety of baits because in all honesty baits like worms, uh, red worms, dendros, uh, log worms etc and your other baits you know they're jack of all trade baits they can catch good fish of all different species and in my opinion as a saying that goes a jack of all trades is a master of nothing but is often better than a master of one and that is exactly how I view my fishing and how I view using baits like that. Also, because I don't normally air inject my lobworms, as I said earlier, be careful guys if you're doing it yourself, put the lobworm down on something hard like a plastic backing or, or a wood board or whatever, or on your seat and then inject it. Don't get air in you because you will die. It will cause an embolism or a uh, pulmonary, like a DVT, but an air version, I guess, an air bubble, which will, you won't survive, so do be careful, as I say, I am stating it at the start of the video and here, be careful, and I'd like to have a little shout out to Phil Maguire, because he's been saying to me quite a few times, you know, you want to start air injecting your baits, it's not just good for perch, but it's good for other species too, you'll get confident bites, and um, to be honest, that air injected worm, that fish didn't half take it well, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, no perch, but what a chub, you know, we're on a tough winter's day, having a little light rove about where I said I was only gonna do one or two swims, I ended up doing more like three or four, five. <laughs> um, yeah, what a fish to have. And as I say, of course it's not a perch, which is what we was after. But hey, Chevin, like that? Oh, oh yes please, yes please. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope wherever you're fishing, you're having a good time. I hope your health's good. I hope it's better than my lymph node anyway, although this has cheered me up. And I'll see you on the flip side on another Fishing for Memories video. This is Mark checking out. Take care, guys. Goodbye.